All right, so here I am about to plug in my Raspberry Pi. You can see that I've got the HDMI cable attached and uh, a network cable. Uh, I'm just going to plug in the USB here. You know, that is a little trickier than I thought it would be with the primer in the case on it. There we go. Now it's in. Now you can see I've got quite a new TV here. I've still got the Energy Guide sticker on. You can't see it, it's off screen, but I'm actually doing this on top of a cardboard box. Anyways, uh, here I'm just going to use the keyboard uh, that I showed you earlier. And I've got RAS BMC, and I'm just going to select that now. There's a little warning there, I didn't see what it was coming up, but uh, I'm just going to let this run for a little bit. All right, so we've got the image successfully applied. I assume that means that the uh, that the the card has been correctly populated. So uh, I'll click OK and see what happens next. All right, so straight away I can see that some of the logo was missing out of this top corner. So that tells me that uh, over scanning should probably be on. Uh, we'll work about getting that setting working soon. All right, so it looks like we're up and running here. Um, again, I can see in the corners that we're being clipped off. So that tells me that we need to do uh, overscan. Uh, I'm just going to see if that's available in one of the options as we go through this. So first off, choosing English. Hmm, is that it? Hmm, kind of is it. Uh, huh. Okay, well, I think I know how to uh, go through and do this. What I'll do is I'll, I'll exit. The mouse is a little funny here. Okay, I'm going to choose exit and see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to go to the uh, system configurations. Appears frozen here. Unsafe device removal. I haven't removed any devices, I promise. Mounted removable hard drive. What is the problem? Unsafe device removal. Mounted removable hard drive. Something happening in this corner here. It does not look like it's happy. 
Of course, there it is again. Unsafe device removal. Mounted removable hard drive. Okay. I know that there's a there's my hard drive is plugged in here, so I'm gonna to pull that out. Let's see how much further along I can get. So what I'm going to do here is go to video calibration. With video calibration, again, this is a tricky way to do it. We can't see it, but in the top corners, we're currently grabbing that top left arrow. So let me get in nice and tight here, and I'll have a look. Yeah, that's right for that one. Look how close you can get to the edges. There you go. Just, just the bar to change the height of my subtitles. I'll have my subtitles be there, thank you. Oh, does that look perfectly square? Yes, it does. Okay. I'm happy. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'll restart this and plug my uh, 16 gig stick back in and uh, hopefully everything should be fine. So I'll be back in just a minute. All right, lesson learned. I got to the bottom of the uh, power problem, or rather the disconnecting drive problem. It was actually the power source that I was using. So I've gotten rid of that power source and I've switched to uh, another one. Active network detected. It's showing my IP address, which is very convenient. We'll be needing that in a minute. And so far, so good. I haven't seen the problem happen again with the uh, 16 gigabyte uh, flash drive. Uh, it seems to have adjusted the screen and kept the settings uh, from before, which is great. Uh, and I'm just going to uh, jump in here and uh, change the time zone. Uh, it didn't seem to like anything that I did in the uh, command prompt, so it's time to jump in here and uh, do it the XBMC way. We'll stick entirely to XBMC uh, for this front end, and we'll go in behind it and do the uh, exciting bits in behind it. Uh, so my time zone country uh, will be the United States. Let's get there. United States, I'll go back for it. America, it is New York, 9.09 .09 p.m., correct. And as you may or may not be able to see in a minute, it's not February 14th. Didn't want any of you out there thinking that I was spending my Valentine's Day doing this stuff. My wife wouldn't be too pleased with me then. Anyways, I'm back to the main screen. Notice the drive isn't constantly disconnecting. Everything seems to be working okay from this standpoint. So it's time to start doing some of that backend stuff that we talked about. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is uh, set up the Samba server so that we can file share with it. Uh, and then I'll set up some other cool stuff that can run in the background as well. So uh, let's jump into that just now. Thanks very much. Don't forget to subscribe to my videos. I have other Raspberry Pi projects you might want to check out. Give me a like if you enjoyed this tutorial, and buy me a coffee in, with a donation in the About section below.